Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to the conversation. So, a lot has been made at what's been happening with the NCAA, with what you know now they're requiring that ag uh, agents that want to represent basketball players need to have a college degree and you know the, the response that LeBron has had and many other people in the media saying that this is racist whatever now we did a video before and one of the, one, one of the uh, uh, people that watched the video left a really good comment and he made a really good point and his point was that why don't some of these athletes really start their own thing now some of you may be watching this thing and saying okay how in the hell are college players going to start their own league they can't but the thing to pay attention to is what athletes need to pay attention to is that they're the ones that are generating the billions of dollars that the sport that comes into the sports it's the athlete it's the product now yes sure the teams and the leagues they organize the product they market it really really well the athletes aren't the one marketing the product they're not they aren't the ones doing the you know doing the posters and doing these different things coming up with these different marketing themes to get fans excited for the season and blah blah blah, blah selling jerseys and t-shirts and all that stuff it's not the athletes that are doing that, but they're the driving force. You remove the athletes off the team, you have no excitement. That's why some teams can pay you know, athletes a tremendous amount of money, basketball players a lot of money, on a bad team because they know that if these guys are not there, they're not going to get anybody to fill those seats. So my, my, my question is, my proposal is, what if some of the best basketball players in the world today decided to start their own league? What would happen? Now, first of all, you may be saying to yourself, where are the basketball, where are they going to get that kind of money? Well, it turns out there's already a billionaire basketball player. There are tens of hundreds of, uh, uh, maybe tens of maybe hundreds of basketball players that are worth at least over 50 to $60 million. What would happen if they pulled their resources together to maybe start their own league or something like that when they can actually you know, profit at a much higher level because, because of the CBA, the collective bargaining agreement, basketball players are not really getting as much as the owners. Yes, they have more, let's say, power than you know NFL players do in the NFL, but still, they're the ones generating all of these sales, and I know some of them have gotten to the point where they can negotiate certain deals to get points off of jersey sales and all of these different things that happen in the game, maybe you know, sales off of drinks and all these different things, but they're the product. All it would take is them just to get in contact with the right people, maybe the right manufacturers, the right branding uh, agencies, the right marketing agencies to really put together a good package. Now, some of you may be saying, well, why bother? Why bother? What, what's the benefit of that? Well, if you take that approach, then what's the need for people to complain about the new rule that the NCAA put into place? Instead, what they, can't, what they can do is try to come up with their own league and provide a solution to the problem that they seem to be having and find a way to compensate college athletes, even if it's on a basic level, even if it's $100,000 or $50,000 a year. Imagine getting paid $50,000 a year you know, or a season, whatever it is, to play basketball. And I know some of you may be saying, but that's not the purpose of going to school. Sure, fine, but at least the athletes are getting compensated because they're the ones that are driving. That's how they get all the TV deals. Basketball players are the ones. That's why the, the, the big three works. This is the reason why the big three works. The big three is showing you that athletes can generate the revenue dollars if they started their own thing. That's the thing that Ice Cube understood. So if more, you know, if more black athletes understood this or more progressive thinking athletes thought this way, it doesn't have to be black, but predominantly, you know, if they thought this way, the league could, they could really start their own league conceivably. You know, they can conceivably do so. You know, a, a number of years ago, they tried to start another league that was supposed to be a complement to the NFL. I forgot the name of it. Donald Trump and all of them tried to do it, but they couldn't, re they couldn't attract enough stars to their league. But basketball players could do it, and you have enough big-name powerhouse players that could actually, you know, um, um, you know, get meetings and get, you know, get people to listen to them. So that's my idea. If you think that, you know, these athletes, these black athletes can actually make this thing happen on their own, if there's a possibility, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. If you think I'm talking complete rubbish, let me know as well. Again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. This is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wish you guys a great day. Peace.